I think depression is the fact that we self-flagellate, isn't it? You use an amazing word right in the beginning, you use the word guilt-free, because that means you feel guilty, and guilty is a mental self-flagellation because of what we've been through. But you have to say to that little girl within you, because we all have that person within us, I love you, I thank you, I forgive you, I'm sorry. And by saying it to you, it allows you to say to others, I love you, I thank you, I forgive you, I'm sorry. Isn't it? So by saying it to yourself and others, you heal yourself and thereby heal your world. And what's very important, you let the monsters, the demons and the dragons go free. You are, because the most harshest, when you're depressed, the most harshest person, as much as we identify someone out there, is yourself. Because what is depression? Did someone say, I declare you depressed and I have now made you depressed? You and I do it, isn't it? It's like a crazy thing. And we've got to recognize what depression is about. Depression is regression. Depression means the current way of operating is not allowing you to go forward in your life. Isn't it? And you now recognize that you have to go re-look at our thinking, our feeling, and our acting, and our behavior, and maybe backtrack and find a different way of behaving. Isn't it? Because if you yet uh, at this clinic, Life hasn't listened to your logic. Life hasn't cared about your rationality, isn't it? And this is not your story. This is definitely not your movie. So what's the solution? The solution is you and I need to listen to life. And life, as I said, is kind of sometimes kicking us, you know, in a place we don't like, telling us, change the way we are being. But all of us, we humans, we like sticking to the way we like things, we thought things to be. We don't want to accept a different way. So that way we let go, we do not, we refuse, refuse, refuse to be the victims of person, people, situations, circumstances, things, places. We now then create and facilitate your own destiny as you choose it to be. Okay, so I hope it helped, right? And the whole idea is to take you to a more powerful space. The idea is to move you, I'm going to say from pathology, because this is pathology, right? To a purpose. And we can have a talk on purpose for the next couple of days, right? Because it's about finding something worthwhile to chase. When you get up in the morning, you find, geez, I still got to chase. And you will be whacked because you're moving with faith and conviction in something that is completely uncertain sometimes, unknown. But, a, but as long, and you might say, geez, how do I know it's worthwhile? It must resonate with your authentic self and it will be in alignment with what the universe wants. A practical example over time, uh, uh, we all know Mandela, right? What did he achieve in a one word? Freedom, right? So what is interesting is that we, what's it now, 2021, 2021, we are free. It was inevitable. He was in alignment with the universe that this is what this country kind of, and you kind of look back, it would be a bit weird if we were still in the 1970s South Africa, isn't it? Like, you know, you know what I mean? It just wouldn't fit in. He was in alignment with what the universe wanted. You and I need to find our authenticity and alignment with what the universe wants. Then he said, it's not an easy ride, but you actually allow yourself to be in flow with a truth, a purpose, a meaning beyond who you, your mind determines you to be. And that's what all our journeys are about. Rather than holding on to a mind and saying, no, I want contentment, healing, happy, free. But at times you will feel as we currently do, you are not free. We all live behind masks, curfew, I think it was easier during the, the old regime. At least you could walk around at night while in your area as such. Isn't it? Well, we kind of don't complain now because we hope it keeps us safe. The, you understand what I'm saying? What's interesting is to find your purpose, your truth and meaning. As much as, yes, we have to let go of what holds us back, we need to find something worthwhile to chase. All right. I hope you find this useful.